the main uh, parasympathetic nerve uh, outside the brain is the vagus nerve. That's the tenth cranial nerve, and uh, importantly, it supplies the um, the heart, and it supplies most of the GI tract. Not all, because of that sacral uh, innervation, uh, uh, but most of the GI tract, as well as the lungs and uh, and splanchnic organs such as the pancreas and the uh, spleen. You can see that uh, there are two types of receptors for acetylcholine. One is nicotinic. Nicotinic receptors are responsible for the ganglionic transmission as I'll be getting into uh, in a, uh, later on. And muscarinic Uh, muscarinic receptors in the heart or uh, in these uh, end organs. So uh, if you smoke a cigarette and now you have, uh, or you swallow some nicotine, draw tobacco or something like that, you're going to be stimulating uh, ganglionic neurotransmission. If you uh, eat a uh, toxic mushroom, that's sort of where muscarine comes from, then uh, uh, the effects are going to be because of stimulation of the muscarinic receptors and uh, the catecholamine, the, the, the parts of the sympathetic nervous system that use catecholamines as a transmitter wouldn't be affected. But I wouldn't recommend eating poisonous mushrooms. The GI tract uh, receives complex, complex uh, multi-transmitter uh, innervation. First of all, you've got the enteric nerves uh, that are in the walls of the gut. And then you have uh, parasympathetic uh, innervation, which in general increases uh, the tone uh, uh, of those organs, uh, of the stomach, and, and sympathetic Inhibition. It's kind of interesting to think about sympathetic inhibition. So the enteric nervous system, nobody knows what the, the chemical messengers are of the enteric nervous system, how they're organized. It's very complex. There are numerous uh, uh, putative transmitters. They interact. And, of course, the enteric and sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system all also have uh, interactions in the... Uh, in the gut, so the, the the gut is really, really hard to understand in any kind of a simple way. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. But these are enteric nerves, but they're they're impinged on by parasympathetic uh, uh, parasympathetic uh, postganglionic neurons. Now the the Parasympathetic ganglia are near or even inside the target organ, so very different from sympathetic uh, uh, postganglionic innervation, where the, the, the these are very long, wispy fibers that come from the ganglia. Here, the most of the parasympathetic innervation is is uh, preganglionic; it's myelinated. Vagus nerve is myelinated, uh, and it's only very short postganglionic uh, fibers that go to the the uh, target organ. So this is an overview of the components and messengers of the autonomic nervous system, and this is an overview of the organization. Hopefully, when you when you think back to that initial initial uh, diagram where I wrote, uh-oh. Now, maybe you can get a, a little sense of uh, what we're dealing with. There are five, uh, there are five different uh, organizations. You've got the, the vagus nerve and, uh, and uh, pelvic nerves uh, that are uh, pre-ganglionic uh, parasympathetic uh, nerves. You've got ganglia that are that use uh, 
uh, acetylcholine as the, uh, the chemical messenger. That's true for, for uh, all of the, uh, all, all the parts of the autonomic nervous system. You've got uh, three types of sympathetic uh, 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 neurons uh, where norepinephrine is from a postganglionic fiber. Acetylcholine mediating sweat is a postganglionic uh, non-myelinated fiber. You've got the direct, uh, the direct uh, adrenomedullary uh, innervation by myelinated fibers. Uh, so those are, that's the kind of the overview of the organization of the sympathetic nervous system.